this is a crazy text from Zhenya, and it said, crazy. it was crazy. I was very, my heart was beating so fast because when he said, Lily, I want to take a ride with you. Why was it crazy to you though? Because it's like a ride. It's like a big deal. We don't know yeah. what that ride consists of. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Yeah. And it took me long to text back. Yes, it took a very long to text back. I already thought, you know, when you text someone and they didn't reply, you have so many thoughts in your mind. You're like, denied or you have like no she's cooking she can't rejection. yeah like rejection so i was like and then i get a text back she was like what did you say yeah i said it wasn't just sure i was like um yes dot. <laughs> she's very particular with dots if there's no dot in the text something's wrong yeah <laughs> she introduced me to a song it's called satisfied in you mm -hmm. who sings that song um the sing team and the main lyrics, the part that really struck to me was the, as the deer pants for water, so my soul thirsts for you. So I was thinking about that a lot. And I found this place, it was, I thought it was amazing. It was still water, there's like a little hill, remember that place? There was like a tree beside it. I was so excited, I brought my Bible, brought the balloons, I got the tea. Everything was set. I had the plan in my mind. And I don't know, were you like anticipating? Were you excited or were you kind of just... I was like, what is this ride about? Because I, I didn't even go out with you then. No. I wasn't dating you officially, nothing. No. And this male wants to ask me for a ride <laughs> around the neighborhood. <laughs> around the neighborhood. So we started driving and I was like, hey, Lily, is it okay if we kind of do something else? Like I had something in mind? What did you think about that? And I was like, sure. <laughs> you were excited. You were, you were like, I love spontane spontaneosity. Is that a word? Spontaneity. <laughs> spontaneity. <laughs> I love spontaneity. So when I come out of the car, yes. I noticed that he was very nice to me. I kept saying, like, it feels like a dream. Mm -hmm. When she said that, I was like, very curious, like, what does she mean it feels like a dream? As the deer pants for water, so my soul thirsts for you. And he was like, what do you think of this verse? Do you think we are the deer and God is the water? As we were looking at the water, we just decided to sit on the blanket and write letters to God. Yeah. Let's just write anything, whatever comes to mind. It doesn't have to be formal or anything. Just write whatever is on your mind right now. And he said, we're not going to know what each of us wrote. We're just going to release the balloon and just give it to God. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. Like, I really feel amazing right now. Lil was so excited, so happy. And then all of a sudden, she got into this mood, this zone. She just kind of like stood up. And she just kind of start looking at the grass or the water. I was thinking about dreams. God knew exactly that I needed those dreams in order to be completely assured that he's going to be my future husband. And I was contemplating on whether or not to tell him. And she just decided to tell me. And the way she said it, it was, it was amazing. And you know why she said this feels like a dream? It's because her second dream, she said, we're laying in the field looking at the stars. Yes, we were there just laying and looking at the stars. And that was my second dream. I had no idea that God was going to let that dream come true. And this, the fact that she shared with me two dreams, led me to share with her what I dreamt. And he only dreamed one dream. Only one dream, that's all I had. I had three. God had to really like work in my heart <laughs> yeah and he just he knew that I, all i needed is one dream to confirm for me <laughs> and so i was like okay should i tell her the dream or not because to be honest my dream was very short but it was very straightforward and so i was like okay should i tell her or not i was getting nervous and stuff and i could feel that she still had something to say but i was like i'm gonna interrupt her because i need to share this this is like yeah. really in my heart right now and so i was like lily I had a dream too, and it was a week ago. There was a girl standing, and I was like wanting to know what you wanted to tell me, so 
I was like, what did you want to tell me? And this girl would not respond at first. And I was like, okay, I was loud. I was like, what did you want to tell me? And she turns around and it was Lily. In my dream, she said, Genia, I love you. But when I was telling Lily the story, I was a little bit nervous. I was a bit hesitant to tell her those wordings because they're strong, you know, you don't just say, I love you, you know? So I substituted those words and I said, Lily, you said, I like you. <laughs> and so it was really interesting to see Lily's reaction because... I had the same exact dream, but he said, I love you. And I told him straight forward. So when she said, I love you, I was like, that's what I dreamt. That's what you said in my dream. I just didn't want to say that you said, I love you the first time we met, the first hina we have one-on-one. -on -one. It was, but since He's, you dreamt that, yeah. I was like, that's exactly what I had to. So this is crazy. She had three dreams. I had a dream. We met on the field that was exactly what she dreamt in her second dream. She had to make a choice. For me, it was very clear. Our third dreams were exactly the same. They were identical. So we were just sitting there on the field, looking at the still water, looking at these beautiful stars. It was a clear night. And we were just at awe. We were just sitting there. And I just knew, I just knew that Zhenya was going to be my husband at that moment. I knew it. I felt the same way about her. I was like, wow, this is it. Like, this is it. I'm, I'm unbelievable. You could really see the work of God. It's not us, it's all about God and how He made our lives just collide and how we met each other. Yeah. It wouldn't be possible without God and all these dreams and preparing our hearts and yeah. it's not us, it's Him. So I was like blown away. That night blew me away. The verse is from Psalm 42, and this was brought to you by PBS. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back on track. Okay, Let's back get back on track. track. Please, please. Okay. That was my hair. <laughs> yes, it's good. Yes, it was very... <laughs> <laughs> I brought some piece of paper, papers. I brought... <laughs> <laughs> some piece of paper? I brought pieces of paper. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I had paper. <laughs> So we were walking and we went to a pond. No, that doesn't make sense. We were walking and we went to a pond. That means like we were walking towards a pond. And I came out of the car and he put his coat around my body. <laughs> Cut! Okay. I just want to say thank you for all the prayers. Thank you, Mom, Dad. Spasiba, Babushka, Allah, Dedushka, Vanya. You guys are the best and you cared so much for me in my life. I don't know what I would have done without you guys. Я тоже хочу поблагодарить свою семью. Спасибо папе, который всегда меня держал на правильном пути. Он мне всегда прямо в лицо говорил правду. Спасибо, пап. Мама, спасибо большое. Я тебя очень сильно люблю. Всегда молилась, обнимала. Лёха, Тимон. Thank you guys so much for celebrating this wonderful day with us. And thanks for listening to our story. Thank you.